More details about a woman who was handed the UK's first unexplained wealth order have emerged after she spent more than £16 million during a decade-long spending spree at Harrods. Samira Hadjieva, who was originally from Azerbaijan, was the first target of the UK's new anti-corruption laws, which came into force last year. Well, our Home Affairs correspondent Dominic Kashiani is here. And the amount of money she spent is extraordinary. I mean, hundreds of thousands of pounds in one day alone. It's, it's staggering, Sophie. Uh, she, she's been targeted because of suspicions about how her money ended up in the UK. Her husband is in jail in Azerbaijan, accused of ripping off the state bank he wants around. Let me just talk you through some of these figures, because until today, we couldn't fully report how this money went into the Harrods coffers. On one day alone in June 2008, she spent 433389 Pounds, and I think there are a few pence on the end on Cartier jewellery. On jewellery? On Cartier jewellery, yeah. Now, that day, actually, she went in and spent another £1,000 on underwear and socks, it appears, <laughs> as well. A couple of days later, she's back. £99,000 on the strangely named Bibidi Babidi Boo, which was the Disney boutique where you could have your children made over for a high price indeed. And so it went on month after month over 10 years. 54 credit cards many of which were issued by her husband's bank. And this is why the National Crime Agency said there were serious questions about what was the source of her income and how she was able to spend so much money. And these new anti-corruption laws came into force last year. Yeah. So how significant is, is this case then? This case is really significant to the NCA because what they're really after is not that Harrods spending, but the property. She owns a large home behind Harrods worth probably £15 million. That's been obscured, say, their investigators behind the myriad complex company structures, including a company in the British Virgin Islands, they want to prove that that is from ill-gotten gains. And if Mrs Hadjieva cannot show that her wealth is legitimate, the NCA will go for the house and also a golf course she owns in Berkshire. And this will be a highly significant moment in the UK's fight against money laundering. Dominic, thank you. The time is coming up to 20 past one, our top story this lunchtime. Turmoil over Brexit for the Tories and Labour as both parties grapple with how to break the deadlock. Jeremy Hunt, one of the 10 Tory leadership candidates, says leaving without a deal is not the way forward. And still to come, we'll hear about the community project helping NHS workers observing the Ramadan fast. Later on BBC London.